and now the real program begins. Many of you who have been in the program understand that it is an extremely difficult program, but we made it very clear to you and your parents when we met last week. Um, and how many of uh, your parents and you came over last week? Great. So you understand, and your parents, uh, you, you told your parents, and you keep all your breasts with your parents. Tell when you go back home, tell what you did the entire day. All of you are going to do hands-on science research in some of the high-tech laboratories in uh, here in New York City and elsewhere, all over the world, wherever they are. We have students in Kenya uh, who are doing work in uh, HIV AIDS, with the students in Ethiopia doing uh, all the work um, in, uh, in the Hopi Reservation. Uh, when I first started, as I introduced earlier, we had three students, my own three students in my own little lab. Um, not too far away from here. Uh, then next year we had three, stu three more students. Chibin was part of that in 2002. And then uh, 2003 we had 13 students. And then 50 students the following year, 100 students thereafter, 150 students the, uh, the year after that. And this year we have 300 students, close to 300 students in New York alone. About 50 students all over the US and about more than 300 students and growing globally. We have 100 students, 100 Harlem Children's Society students in Ethiopia, 50 in, uh, in Kenya, uh, 30 in Tanzania, uh, 5 in uh, New Zealand, uh, 15 in the Hopi Reservation, and, uh, and many other um, students scattered all over the country, from New Orleans to Detroit to all other tribes all across the US. We have. Uh, um, uh, Mr. Kansi Duff, who represents the American Indian Science and Engineering Society, who is going to uh, talk to us, uh, and you understand the importance of bringing our global community together. We are, what this program would tell you is, we are doing science, but we also are part of a global community, and science and education knows no boundaries especially in today's day and age where there are no boundaries you be by the time you graduate will be you should be able to face the world with the skills that you have acquired and those skills you are acquiring now at this stage and you, in the following few years so don't take this for granted don't take your uh, the efforts and the time that your mentors have put in your school teachers your principals all of the educators and your family, and we are part of your family, so don't forget us. Don't forget your mentors who have invested so much time training you. They don't get any money whatsoever. Their only good thing is the goodness of their heart, and they see to it that you succeed in the future, and you are their, their gems and their stars, the real Harlem stars, and so do not let them down. Do not let us down and do not let our community down. We are all in it together. Either your immediate community, your family members, or your extended family. We are all part of an extended family. Here you have close to 300 students from 100 high schools. We almost like a university here. Where else can you meet folks like this? We have students from all over the world more than 75 schools are represented right in this hall so, and elsewhere and more than 100, uh, 100 schools all over the world so the world has become smaller here in, uh, in uh, today and that's what you have a very strong burden on your so shoulders that you're going to take on in the future you have to be responsible towards yourself you're going to work hard science and science education is very difficult but we can have fun. That's why we had the fun part earlier. And, <laughs> and we are going to have more fun later on, but we're going to do extremely hard work. All these things you have to write down. You know that you're expected to write notes, so I hope you're writing this down too. So, and then we expect you, by end of the week, to send, uh, send everything to us by Moodle. And I'm sure you uh, folks have explained this to you. By midnight, Saturday night, it has to come to us. If it doesn't come to us, we do not, we will cut down a little bit 